Welcome back to the St. John Speed Shop fellow modelers. In a video last week, I uh, put up, uh, I showed you this in my stash ads video. I picked up this Robotech kit here, this red guy that turns from a, from a jet into a uh, robot and back. And I was happy to get that one. And while I was, I got this kit off of eBay. And while I was uh, filling out my uh, positive feedback for the seller, an ad popped up for yet another kit that I was happy to get. And that would be this one to the left. That's the Robotech Defenders kit, Talos. And I got that one in the mail. And again, as I was filling out the positive feedback for the seller, an ad for this one popped up, Gartan. Now, these two kits I have been looking for for decades. They are always very expensive. Currently on eBay, they are listed anywhere from uh, like $160 to $200. I forget which price is for which kit, but they're always really expensive like that. So I've always had to pass on them. These kits, however, were easily a third of what they normally go for. Absolutely, positively thrilled to get them. If you would have told me that, you know, a, a, a weeks in a week's time, that I would have not one but two of my Grail kits on my bench at the same time, both of them for a great price, I never would have believed it. Never would have believed it. I've been looking for these kits for decades. Let me see if I can get a little bit uh, better image for you. But I mean, these things, I've been looking at for these things since I was a kid in the mid 80s. I never saw these on hobby shop shelves. But this one here is Talos. And this is in 48 scale. And the other one is Gartan. Let me get that glare out of there. And that's also in 48 scale. And these are the biggest Robotex boxes I've ever seen. But the cool thing about Gartan is, unlike the usual mechs, piloted mechs, this guy has no head. The cockpit area is here on the right side of the chest. I mean, that always made him very cool looking. I'm so happy to get these. I just can't wait to get to them. Um, and another thing I like about these uh, kits, I mean, I think the Robotech Defenders line had the best box art because it was not only the actual painted and assembled and weathered model, but they had, had these uh, devastated skiddy, uh, cityscapes in the background or in the case of Talos looks more of a, a jungle look to it, but they, they had the best box art. And uh, man, I'm they, I'm not even gonna throw these boxes out when I'm done. I'm gonna stick them to the wall as art for the man cave. But I just want to share this real quick with you guys because I have been looking for these two guys for decades. I have two more Grail kits. One of them is the Robotech uh, 72nd scale Zion. And then the other one, which I'm probably never going to see because it's always outrageously priced, is the uh, Monogram Buck Rogers Starfighter. That one's always uh, you know, out of my price range. It's just, I'm, a, I'm a builder, not a collector. I'm, there's no way I'm going to spend three, 400 bucks on a kit and rip it open and wreck the value. I just, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm a builder, so I got to buy it at a builder's price. But I just thought I'd share this with you guys. I absolutely cannot believe these are sitting on my bench. I never thought I'd see this day. And, and with the Zion kit, that one I built as a kit. So, I mean, that one's out of my system a long time ago. I just want to get another. But these two, I was never able to find. And man, I, I can't say enough about uh, the seller. It's uh, that, wow, what was it? Damn shop card he sent me. Well, the seller is uh, Wise Guys Hobby. Only sells on eBay. And the prices on his Robotech kits are phenomenal. 
So I'm, I mean, I'm not real familiar with most of the stuff on there, on his his uh, eBay store, but I'm assuming the other prices are just as good. I mean, because these things are just phenomenally priced. Well, with that, I'm going to shut my trap. I'm going to upload this vid. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me get these out of the way real quick. Leon, I'm working on that caddy, dude. I got a couple hours in at the bench the other night. Oh, it's a mess. Damn it. It's a mess down here now, but I did get a couple hours in in that Cadillac. I'm working on it. For your lowrider group build. But, uh, I'm just good to get back to the bench. Although it really cost my back the other night. That was hurting good. But you guys have a good one. I'm out of here. I'll be back with a update on the caddy soon. Adios.